Not before they murdered my wife and house, Carl. Hmm. House, Carl? On this impoverished island? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. It's a new day. And Jade, it's time for you to get to stretch your legs. When, unfortunately, a quest cannot be completed. So she's resting in her cabin. And what, what is this that you're wearing, Hayden? There's something ahead? I want to update your equipment. All right, what have you got? Well, apparently I can't update it. it. Looks like you're wearing light armor. Even though it looks like heavy armor to me. Anyway, we need to do something to cover you up. Let's go. So, we're going to kill some distributors. What is it, Skuma or something? Doesn't matter. Whatever it is, they're going to die. <laughs> oh, what? Did you all see that? Was that a, a werewolf that suddenly flipped into the air? A, a slain werewolf at that. Oh, look. I think that's the person there. Jade? What is it? All right. I thought you might have something to say. So, how do we do this? Do I talk to him first? Is there some thing that you need to tell him? You. What? Someone wants you dead. What else is new? <laughs> All right, then. What? Well, this is awkward. Well, I'd say he's all yours, but I take it you won't attack him. It's nothing personal. You're in for a world of pain. One down, one to go. There were only two. What a villager. Oh, there's one standing there. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry you had to see that. All right, let's go. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at Did you. Did I do something unpopular again? Well, the clothing you have on is not popular need to get that replaced with something a little bit more decent. Well, we're probably going to lose favor in both I'm of these all ears. Not unless he's going to leave the village. If he exits, we might be able to kill him without anyone seeing it. Yes, he's leaving. Quickly, everyone through the gate. We close it. You My cannot hope to win! Oh, he's a tough one. Kill him. secure. Stand down. Good. That's the last one. Thanks for your help. <laughs> My help? 
I did it all well. Okay, you all did contribute. But what's next? We just have to wait. Our target will need people to fill these positions soon. When he starts recruiting, we need to submit our applications. Hmm, huh, very well. All right, I think, can I speak with you now? Good morning. Good morning. Is something on your mind? You... Remember that maniac we killed earlier? The maniac I killed? What about him? Rumor has it he was involved with some ancient Daedric witchcraft called memory manipulation. Hmm? The villagers wanted to discourage others from following suit, and I... may or may not have promised to help them... again. Memory manipulation, you say? The ability to wipe certain elements of one's memory and replace them with a fictional past. I know, the practice is pretty obscene to me too. Not very reliable either, as we've witnessed firsthand. And just how are you going to help? They want me to post bulletin boards in each of the main villages, warning against the dangers of such witchcraft. Not a very effective deterrent in my opinion, but I agreed to it, so... Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing now. Posters, really? You need to stop making these promises. Tell me about it. It seems every time I throw back a few meads, I can't help but commit to these wild and gratuitous packs. If you make them while you're drunk, why keep them? It just means a lot to me. Keeping my word, that is. It's a wonder you can even remember. I've only broken it a handful of times, most of which still haunt me. What happened? I'm sorry. I'm just not prepared to talk about it. Trust issues and all that. <laughs> you have a community service to attend to, remember? Very well. Let's focus on that. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Whenever you have time. We might as well do it now, come on. That should do the trick. It's, it's nice that you took on this assignment, and yet here I'm the one that's doing the work. So it says, attention citizens, due to increased accounts of insanity and those partaking in memory manipulation, all islanders are required to report those involved in the ritual immediately. If you see something, say something. <laughs> I can't remember exactly where that comes from, but it's not a very original. All right, let's get to the next town. All right, here we are back in oh, Sutha side. And I'll go ahead and do your work for you. Whew, halfway done. This calls for a mandatory meat break. Look at you. You disgust me. All right, I couldn't help but revisit my handiwork. All right, on to the next village or town. And here we are at Norstead. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, I don't know. This is Tassius Village. All right, Hayden, let me do your job for you. Just one more, almost there. What do you mean one more? I thought that was it. All right, well, let's go on to the next By town. By the nine. Sightings. All right, here we are. This is the village that we wiped out. You would think they wouldn't need a signpost here, but 
Perhaps some of the outcasts or someone else will eventually move here. Looks like we've drawn the attention of the local hag. Don't make any sudden movements. These things are unpredictable. Such ignorance. Memory manipulation what? is a timeless practice, a gift from our ancestors. You only fear it because you fail to understand the importance of such an ability. How do I put this? Neither of us care. We're just couriers of this operation. And yet, you still condone these lies? It is a harmless endeavor when conducted properly. I don't know about all that. We've seen contrasting evidence. If you're referring to the mental mishaps, that only occurs if the subject struggles, refusing to part with their memories. I went through the treatment. Surely you can see I've suffered no such mental toll. Debatable. <laughs> Still, you waste your breath. We're just the messengers. Hmm. Outlanders. And this woman is who you were calling the local hag? Excuse me. Yes? Ah, I thought you might have How more can to I say. assist? You can't. You must be the only survivor. All right, Hayden. That's it. Well, until my next ill-conceived promise, at least. Thanks for the help. Maybe if you drank less, you'd make fewer promises. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? I drink because I make promises, and I make promises because I drink. It's the endless cycle that defines my life, or what's become of it, at any rate. Why do you hold yourself so strictly to your word? I... I guess it's just the form of dealing with the past. There's something I'm not proud of buried beneath all the mead and carelessness. Something I could have prevented if I just stood by a simple promise. What happened? It was during the war. I was an Imperial Tribune in charge of a small squadron of men. They were the closest thing I had to brothers. One day, the Stormcloaks had us pinned between a river and the mountainside. There were a handful of skirmishes. Few people died. Neither side gained any ground. Eventually, orders came down to evacuate the area. Not for my men, just for me. I remember how we sat around the fire before I left. Reminiscing about our days in the 11th Training Regiment. Are That's when Quester really Servius necessary? pulled me aside and requested something I'll never forget. He asked me not to abandon them to such a doomed fate. To stand beside them until reinforcements arrived. I looked him in the eye and told him I'd be back for them as soon as I was able. That was the last promise I ever broke. You've got to be kidding me. The, the staccato delivery of your story, it's putting me to sleep. I'm hesitant to even ask what happened to them. Stormcloak raiding party. Two days after I rode off, they left no survivors. Hmm. You were following orders. There was nothing you could have done. I'll tell you what I could have done. I could have taken my men with me. I could have told my legate his orders were unethical and dim-witted. I could have, I... I'm sorry. I know what you were trying to do, it's just... The wound is still fresh for me. 
doubt it will ever heal. We've got other things to worry about. I'd like to focus on them instead, if you don't mind. Well, of course. Let's see, Jade, I think it's time to speak to you, but what about Roland? What do you need? Is something on your mind? I cannot deny that the tale of Sir Aldous of the Rose has troubled me lately. It is a reminder that even the mightiest among us may lose their courage if they forsake their virtues. I don't know how long ago he lost his way, but I think it's safe to assume it's been some time since he deserved his knightly title, if the information I've gathered proves true. What information? Ah, the wound he bears. The one which will soon claim his life. It was inflicted during a conflict with Naga bandits. Naga bandits? Never heard of them. A sub-race of Argonian. The tales of their criminal activities are widespread throughout the southeast region of Tamriel, even up to Cyrodiil. They have a formidable reputation as drug smugglers and caravan thieves. It's scum like them that a true knight would vanquish without pity. Alas, Sir Aldous sided with them and earned his wound fighting against the innocent. And why would he do that? Wealth, power, I know not. But where one knight fails, another should have the strength to rise, shying neither from danger nor malicious intent. With your permission, my liege, I would like to destroy these bandits and set the deed right. Your liege, is it? <laughs> Do you have any idea where we can find them? Rumor has it that two villagers were robbed and murdered by these bandits not five moons ago. A third managed to survive the attack. He resides on the eastern coast of the island. Speaking to him should set us on the right path. All right, we'll get to it soon. It is not a matter of haste, but the sooner we lend ourselves to investigate, the better. All right, and Jade? Something you need? Something on your mind. Our targets made his move. He's asking for potential recruits to meet him in a secluded cavern north of the island. Good chance that's where he runs his operation. And what's your plan? He'll want to interview us, get a feel for why we're applying and if we can be trusted. While one of us keeps him talking, the other will have a pristine opportunity at silencing him from afar. I have my preference, of course. But as the guest of this operation, you're welcome to choose for yourself. And how are we going to kill him? I scouted the area earlier. There's a vantage point clinging to the outer wall of the cave, overlooking a gap in the roof of his office. One of us should be able to send an arrow through it, but we'll need the other to keep him occupied. You already scouted the area? What can I say? I'm good at what I do. Never go in blind was the golden quote of my sanctuary. Well, that and never strike from the same place twice. <laughs> Come to think of it, they were very fond of telling us what not to do. Hmm. And which approach do you prefer? I'd rather take the shot. All right, then. I suppose I'll keep the target talking. Excellent. You'll only need to distract him long enough for me to get into position. After that, just give me the signal and I'll drop him. Signal? Oh right, that would be a good thing to establish beforehand. Up to you, I guess, so long as it's subtle. <laughs> Well, I'll touch my beard and stroke it. Good enough. I'll keep an eye out for it. Anything else? Oh, yeah. 
there was one more thing. Apparently, this madman sold his soul to Mehrun's Dagon in exchange for the moon sugar cane. Hmm. The hideout might be crawling with Daedric lackeys. Oh, that sounds like fun. And you're just telling me this now. You can thank the crew member that set this contract up for that. She just made the information available. She? Consider that an unintentional hint. I won't disclose anything else. After this contract, I'd like to know who hired you. That's between you and the client. If she wants to tell you, she will. All right then, we'll head to that cavern soon. Sure, the sooner the better. I don't want the role of distributor handed out before we get there. All right, I think we should do Roland's mission first. It might be quicker. All right, here we are in Eleona. And this must be the man we need to speak with. I'm all ears. Another night? What Are can I do for you? With those savages? Have you come here to smite us in the name of greed and dominance? No. I come to see that the misdeeds what of might my you need? are countervailed with justice. That is all. <laughs> Your kindred spoke nobly at first, too. I hope you are truer and more valiant than he was. How can I assist? Are you the one that survived the Naga Bandit attack? That I am? They attacked us while we were laying on the beach. I managed to kill one of them, but... Not before they murdered my wife and house Carl. A <laughs> house Carl? On this impoverished island? I find that hard to believe. Just as hard as I find it to believe that they spared you. Spared me? No. They saw me kill their ally and scattered like the cowards they are. Cruel bastards, a lot of them! I would have pursued them. But... I grieved for my wife. And I could not bear to leave her side. Where did they come from? Their kind crashed a pirate ship onto the island generations ago. Their natural lust for power and wealth drove them into conflict with our ancestors. And for it, they were banished to a nearby island. By attacking us, they have violated an age-old treaty. Their punishment could not be severe enough. And has the village done anything about it? Nothing. They're too <laughs> caught up in their friction with the other villagers to be bothered by our true enemies. Where were you attacked? Just off the coast. I'll mark the spot on your map. Please. I carried the bodies of my wife and house car away for a proper burial. But I left that beast where it lay. Very well, then. We'll look into it. Thank you, stranger. The soul of my wife pleads for vengeance. Roland? If I know anything about these bandits, there'll be a lot of them. I will need time to pray and ask the Divines for strength before we distribute justice. Well, I want to investigate the crime scene first. Of course, Dover. But I don't know what you expect to find. We already know everything we need to. Do we? All right, let's find the crime scene. It's not there, it's here. Let's go. I can't believe it's almost evening, almost night. 
hardly gotten anything done today. And at least the ship has been repaired, and maybe we have to wait for a high tide or something, and we might be able to get out of here. Well... This wasn't here when we passed earlier. Hmm, the bandit is malnourished, and there are strange marks on its wrist. I'll take the seashells, though. <laughs> hmm, that's odd. Roland? Well met. This bandit looks underfed. And there's an odd rash on its wrists. Hmm. Interesting. Yet it changes nothing. Really? They attacked innocent bystanders. Whether out of hunger or not makes little difference. The motive does not excuse the sin. All right. Anything else on your mind? Perhaps another time. Good, then. All right then, Jade. Let's go to this hideout and prepare ourselves to deal with these uh, criminals. What on Nern was this thing that washed up here? Deep Root Cavern. Let's go. You're here for the job offering too. Can't blame you. Isn't every day an opportunity like this arises? The master will see you now. Follow me. Something you need? Meat break, anyone? All right, we're all here. Let's go. Yes, my liege. How can I assist? You can't. You want something from me? I don't. You want something from me? No. weapons in? The master has made his orders, Kiria. You will not meet with him so heavily armed. All right, then. See to it, then. Hello. Just be inside. Mortal. Talking with the boss.
Take a seat. Don't mind if I do. Make sure we're secure, will you? Just a precaution. Now, make any sudden moves toward the door, and I'll have my servants cut you down. Consider that a guarantee. Oh, I'm not really frightened. Why should I choose you over the many others who have gathered at my doorstep today? You're actually considering hiring those other idiots? Hmm, rather blunt, but I like the confidence. You understand why I live in a secluded cavern, I assume. So, what makes you think I can trust you to keep my recipe and ingredients confidential? would rather die than sell you out. Hmm, no doubt. Do you know why I keep Daedra as my guardians? Loyalty. A Daedra would sooner face the void than turn on his master. I see that same potential in you. Very well. I'll send an underling to retrieve you if you are outperformed. Until then, I expect you to refrain from speaking of what you've seen today. The consequences for crossing me are undesirable. We're done here. Wait, I have questions. And what makes you think I have time for them? Just because you made a good impression doesn't mean you can test me. How do I know I can trust you? You're wasting my time. Leave now while you're still ahead. What are you looking at? <sighs> Twams, there is an assassin among us. That's what I was looking at. Yes, let's find the assassin. How'd it go? Is he... in a good mood? He won't be giving you any trouble. Oh, divines be praised. I hope I get the job. I'm sure you will. Good luck. Thanks. Yes, open this door. Hello? Are you still here, sir? All right, I suppose I have my weapons back. There. So, what do you want? We can leave. Then. You want something from me? Our job here is done. Kinnereth preserve us. By the gods! There's a psychopath on the loose! One else is following me, that's too bad.
All right. We're all here, Jade. Dovahkiin? About the assassination. It's a shame we live two completely different lives. We'd make a pretty good team. Hmm, wouldn't we, though? I think, though, however, we make a good team as it is. Yeah, maybe. But assassins and heroes don't mix. Hmm. If not for the bizarre circumstances we share, I doubt we'd have ever met. <laughs> oh, it's... I don't know quite the word for it that you all think that I'm the hero. Anyhow, what if I wasn't the Dragonborn? I don't think you'd be the same if you weren't blessed by Akatosh. <laughs> blessed? <laughs> but I'll bite. If you could be anything at all, aside from the Dovahkiin, what would you be? Well, just not so as not to raise any suspicion. I think I'd like to be a Jarl. People would live better under my rule. <laughs> You've already got the ego of one. I say go for it. And what about you? What would you be? Me? I... well, I guess there is one career that's held my interest from the time I was little. Just promise me you won't laugh. No, oh, that'll be hard. I'll make no such promises. Then at least try to fake a deadpan for courtesy's sake. Well, gods, this is going to sound corny. I've always wanted to be a dressmaker. <laughs> you? A dressmaker? I know, I know. Not a very fitting hobby for the cold-blooded assassin. It's just something about growing up in the Imperial City, I guess. The businesswomen and nobles flaunted the most extravagant dresses imaginable. From lustrous red velvet to opulent black leather. I often wondered how it must feel to be clad so elegantly. A beggar's girl should have known better. And yet, that never stopped me from dreaming, even to this day. Well, why not become a dressmaker then? It's a child's dream, nothing more. Huh. I digress. Good work today, Dova. After I talk with our client, I'll hand over your cut of the reward. Thank you. All right, well, it has been quite a day. I say it's time for us to get some rest and then pursue some of these other quests that you people have for me. <laughs> 